everyone, so for today's video I'm going to be showing you what I put in my carry-on bag for when I kind of go on holiday as it is a little bit around like summer holiday season at the moment and a few of you said you'd be interested to know what I put in my carry-on bag so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. I will say I do usually take like a um, travel like hand luggage size suitcase with me as well. As often on airlines you can take two bags, um, so like the books and my camera would probably usually go in there as they are quite heavy, but everything else is kind of what I would just put in my bag. So I'm going to show you my bag and then what's in it. So this is my bag, it is quite big, I'm not sure if I will use this, I just thought because it's big I can fit a lot in it and it is from Primark and it was only £8. Um, it's a really nice bag, it's quite strong, it's quite heavy right now because I've got a load of books in it. But it kind of just looks like this. It's a really nice size and it fits so much in it. Like it's not even full yet. So I probably will take this. Um, but I'll just take the books and the camera out and put them in the suitcase. As I just like to have a lot of spare room. So if I buy stuff when I go away or if I need to, I can just put a load of stuff in my bag. And if you didn't know, I am going to grease this year. So yeah. Basically, that's just some background for you. So like I said, I will be taking my camera, but I'm currently filming on it. So this is my big camera bag. Um, so obviously I'm not gonna be able to fit that in here. So this will go in my little travel on suitcase. But yeah, in here right now, this is where the camera goes. And I've just got my other lens. And yeah, this is the 75 to 300 millimeter lens if you're interested so that's obviously too big to put in um, my bag but in my bag the first thing I have is obviously my phone like I need my phone you know I, yeah everyone needs their phone um so I can listen to music on the plane or just obviously in the airport waiting around and stuff like that and who doesn't go without their phone? I recently did a what's my iPhone if you are interested, so I'll leave the link to that video down below for you. Then as well as my phone, I'll also be taking my iPad. I recently purchased the new um, 2018 edition iPad, then I just bought this marble case for it from Amazon. And yeah, I'll just be taking this as I can watch a load of stuff on it as well. Also music, because I've got Spotify premium all downloaded and I just love my iPad I use it all the time and then like I said I'll also be taking some books these aren't the only books I'm taking but I need to go to the library and actually get some more but these are two that I've got at home the first one is the girl on the train I have wait been waiting to read this since Christmas time and I started reading it in like January and then I just got too busy to read it so I'm really excited to read this on holiday and then I'm not sure if I will take this book um but this was just another example to show you this is called More Than We Can Tell and I went to the Shout Hangout event in September October time and I got that there um for free and it is in the Zuala book club and I have liked a few of the things from that club before but I'm not sure if I will take this unless I find the other books that I want to read at the library. The next thing I'll be taking with me are my headphones. These are my friend's rose gold headphones. These are absolutely brilliant for cancelling out noise. They're super comfortable to wear and I've had these for years now and I absolutely love them. They're really really good. I can't use these with my phone unfortunately so these will be for my iPad um, as my phone obviously it's a new iPhone. So I do also have my um, ear pods because they have the adapter on the end of them and yeah I just thought at least these on the plane because they'll cancel out all the loud noise when I'm watching them on my iPad they should be all right and yeah otherwise I will just find an adapter somewhere. The next thing I'll be taking is my smaller camera this one does fit in my bag this is the Canon EOS M10 this is what I use kind of more for like vlogging or when I actually vlog and just it's quite a lot smaller so it is easier to take out and about I guess like if I just if we were going out for an evening I'd probably take this whereas if we we're going out for a whole day or something I'd take the big one but it just looks like this and yeah I love it really good camera if you want to start out with something I really like it also you can change the lenses on these which I really like as well it is a little bit bigger than most people's vlogging cameras but I just wanted something that wouldn't just be for vlogging as obviously I'm not a daily vlogger so that's quite a versatile camera if you are looking to purchase something for like a first time. And then I'll also just be taking like a little bag of stuff. Obviously a lot of this will have to go in a clear plastic bag. But I've just got like a Ted Baker body spray, some tissues, a hand cream. This is an EOS hand cream in cucumber because it smells absolutely amazing. Um, I just have a little mirror here. And then I have a mini Vaseline pot and also some 
hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works and this is in Sweet Pea and obviously like liquids and stuff that will have to go in a clear plastic bag but I've just put it in this bag from H&M for now um, just so I know where it all is when I am ready to go. And the last few things I'm taking are obviously a little bit boring. I've just got my Tangle Teaser. This is the um, compact travel one. So obviously it's not going to scratch anything in my bag. I actually bought this on a plane before. So yeah. And then I've also just got my sunglasses. I do want to get some new sunglasses. As I'm not a fan of these anymore. But these, I think I got them last year from Peacocks. And then I've obviously got my normal glasses for when my eyes get tired. Or for reading and anything like that really i also just wanted to mention because i forgot that i will be taking obviously my purse with me on holiday um it was in my other bag but this is just a cat kids and purse obviously i'll need it if i want to buy something whether that's at duty free in the airport or when i'm actually on holiday and that is everything in my bag i really hope you did enjoy this video if you did make sure to leave it a mass thumbs up and if you are new here make sure to hit that subscribe button down below i'll also be starting my back to school series kind of mid august i'm not 100 percent sure when you're seeing this um but the sunday probably around the 19th of august is when that sunday is probably when my back to school series will start as obviously i do want to do it too early because it's probably not the best thing to do but I didn't want to do it too late as I know schools in Scotland and stuff go back a little bit earlier than the ones in like England and stuff so yeah if you do have any back to school videos that you are desperate to see I have a haul coming and I'll obviously do a what's in my school bag for you but if there's anything else you want to see then please let me know down below and I'll be sure to do those for you and I will see you all in my next video bye